hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create a shopify website from the start from the scratch um i actually have two stores from shopify that i created by myself and um i just wanted to sh i just want to share some knowledge on what i know on shopify platform right now unfortunately we cannot get hold of shopify customer service they changed everything we at first we were able to like um pick up our phone and call them and they walk us through everything but right now we don't have that privilege anymore ah not good <laughs> so um now the only way you can get hold of shopify customer service is by you going through a process it's a long process before you can get a call back you are not gonna be able to still call them they will have to be the one to call you so i'm like you know what i'm gonna just share the knowledge that i have on on shopify um platform what i know so those of you that are struggling you can get an answer right away with this video and this video is gonna be a long video so you know that <laughs> I will try not I will try um to make sure it's not short but I'm just going to do what I can do because a website is not just a 30 minute video it's not going to be a 30 minute thing or one hour thing it's going to it's a process so this is going to be a series video or um, I'll make the video in sections or I'm going to make it in episode I don't know but this is not going to be the only video that is going to that I'm gonna make for um creating a Shopify website so you know and it's gonna be a step-by-step -step process but anyways without wasting much time so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can register your website on Shopify platform and we are gonna choose a theme and we are gonna um create collections and we are also going to add products. I'm going to also talk about how you can optimize your SEO for Google search so that customers can find you. So if you don't want to miss all of this, make sure you stay till the end of this video. I'll see you guys on the other end. Welcome to my Google account. So um, you can type in Shopify login or Shopify or you can just click on the link in my description box where you can just go directly to shopify login so you can register for your shopify store we're gonna click on create a new store and here you have shopify gives you a chance uh, 14 days free trial that 14 days you can use that to build your website so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna use this 14 days that we have to build our website and marketing and all of that good stuff but in this video is not gonna be all, it's not gonna be about marketing it's just gonna be about building your website so we're gonna come here this is my store that i have so i'm just gonna take it off and before time you can create your store's email address um, i usually go for gmail because gmail is um professional compared to yahoo so i'm gonna come here and i already created i already i have a lot of google accounts <laughs> so i'm gonna use one of my google accounts I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And I'm just gonna put in my um, password. And here we're just gonna put in the store name. I believe you guys would have already figured out the store, your store name. So on this part, you put in your store name, and if it's not available, it's gonna let you know. And whatever store name you use in opening your shopify store you can change it but that name will, will be attached to your shopify store for the lifetime of your business so be mindful of that 
it's always good you pick your name and stick to it but you can change it but if you're gonna get into shopify that is a store name you're gonna use and not the one you changed since i hope i'm making sense with this but anyways i'm just gonna pick a random store name so let's assume our store name is beauty beauty link let's see if it's available this store name already exists so we're gonna say beauty link extensions or beauty links let's put an s it's taken beauty link um what collections beauty link collections let's see i would like to i was gonna use beauty link extension but um you don't want your store to be niche specific if you know you're gonna add some other stuff you want it to be um open to different products so beauty link collections is good so as you can see this is not taken so if you have a hair store you'll be able to add like you know curling iron you know hair accessories even shampoo conditioner hair treatment and all of that good stuff so you can add lashes and all of that so that's why it's always good to leave it open and with this that is that with this name you can actually switch to um a different beauty product it must not be here so that's always good to just keep it open because you don't know what's going to happen in the future let's click on create store so now this is where you answer a little bit of question from shopify tell us a little bit bit more about a little about yourself are you legally i legally i'm sorry are you already selling so this is a new business we're just gonna say i'm not selling product yet or i'm just playing around so i'm just gonna put i'm just playing around or you put i'm not selling products yet to sell so you can click whatever you're interested in here that'll be up to you but um i don't think i want to click on this because i because i don't want to but anyways here what is your current revenue we are gonna put zero because i'm just getting started you're starting your business you don't have no income in it no income no money coming in yet so which industry would you be operating in so this i'm gonna put beauty so we're gonna say beauty and are you getting up a store for a client if you are making this store for a client you say yes i'm designing developing a store for a client but we are not so we're gonna go next but the good part here, if you don't want to answer all of this question, you just can just keep it. So we're just going to go on that and add, we want you to add an address so you can get, so you can get paid. Can I skip this one? No, I cannot. So I'm going to put a random name. So now the fun part, we are fine. We have finally created a store so now our free trial is 14 days so we got to start creating our store so here before we go in and do anything you want to um pick a theme you like to use for your store so let's go we are gonna go to online store here and click on themes so we can pick a theme so your online store is pa password protected so nobody can get into your store that's what that means except you unlock it so this is where you are gonna get some teams for your store so shopify 
um, gives you some free themes. So we are going to come here and explore the free themes we have. So I like to use Brooklyn, but um, you can explore and see what you like. I have used a lot of this, y'all. Like I have tried a lot of them. And um, the one I have in my store right now is Brooklyn. I like it. And this is the one that you have right now on your, on this store. I love this boundless as well. I think I have used I've used I have used this simple. That was when I just started Shopify. I used this simple. I did not like it. I've used the supply, I've used this boundless. And right, I have used this minimal. I have used almost everything. I haven't used this narrative because my store is not I'm not into that and I haven't used this venture. But I have used everyone all the ones I mentioned. I haven't used this express either. So we're just gonna go for Brooklyn because I like it. So for Brooklyn, you have the classic and you have the playful. So playful, you have a lot of colors. And classic, you just have this. It doesn't matter what you want to try. The both of them are good. So I'm just going to put playful. So we're going to add this theme to our library. So adding Brooklyn. So it is running. So we just added this, but it's not um, active in our store. We have to actually activate this. So we are going to go to action and publish this here. Are you sure you want to publish Brooklyn? Yes, we want to. So now Brooklyn is active. So before you do anything in your store, it's advisable to choose your theme. So now we have chosen our theme. Before we go ahead and do anything else, we are going to add our products. So this is the fun part. Adding your products, it's kind of, um, it's kind of, it's fun. And it's kind of tricky. If you don't really understand how to do it, you may mess yourself up. So we're just going to click on products here. And you can create um, your products and you can create your collections. So it's either you create your collections first or you create your products first. I think let's create collections first. So let's assume we're going into... Uh, we're selling hair extensions. So here I'm going to click on this collections. This is when we're selling bundles, closure, frontals, lashes, and all of those good stuff. So my collections are going to be um, like bundles, individual bundles and bundle deals and frontal and closure. So here you're going to come here and click on create collections. Collection, I'm sorry. So I'm going to make this as bundles. Bundles. And put in whatever description you have here. I'm not going to go into all of that because this store, this is going to take forever. But put, make sure you put in your description, you know your store it's very advisable you do that and here the collection image we can let me see if I can find any of my bundles excuse me let me see if I can find any of my pictures for my hair in this on this computer I have everything on my phone my phone do a lot like I do a lot on my phone so we're gonna come here and click on this So guys, I have a lot of photos here. These are my stock photos. I actually bought those photos. And um, 
I realized some people got into my store and were stealing my photos because I did not put no, uh, what they call it. I did not put some logo on it and people were stealing it and I'm like, but anyways, we are going to use one of these here. I'm going to use this one and we are going to come here and we're going to put manual. We want to add our products to this collection one by one. We want to do it manually. So don't forget to put in your description for your bundles. But this is good enough. This is just a sample. Then we're going to save this collections. This collection, sorry. And we are going to go ahead and create another collection. So we have bundles. We're going to click on create collections because we're still creating. Here we're going to have the title. We're going to have frontals. Don't forget to put in your description. And we're going to come to add image here. This may take a while, but it's worth waiting for. Oh, let's say my computer is slow. So make sure you get the best frontal or hair to display on top. So we're gonna go for this one here. And make sure you, you're mixing your textures. You don't wanna put same texture for all of your um, images. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna click on manual. And don't forget to put your description. And we're gonna click on save. And we're going to go back to collections. So, uh, one thing I forgot to talk about is you want to um, click on the image from your collections and put in like a little bit of description. That will optimize your search um, your Google search, which will help your customers, your potential customers to find you. We're gonna come here to all products and we're gonna start adding products. So we're gonna add here. And this here is gonna be our bundles. So I sell five textures of um, hair extensions. So for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna do five, because that's going to take a long time for me. <laughs> I'm just going to do three um, hair, um, textures. And I sell from 10 inches to 32 inches. But for the sake of this video, we are going to do from 10 to, let's say, 16 inches. Because I don't have the time to go through all of that so this is going to be our bundles and we're gonna of course put a, don't forget to put your description it's always good to put your descriptions please so we're gonna add our picture so we're gonna come here and you don't put nothing here because for the nature of um, our business, we go by inches. So the price is going to be different and um, we will have to take care of, we will have to do it according to the inches. So I'm going to come here and put all the textures that I have. So... I am selling straight. I am selling. Oh, I have to go one at a time. So let's go for straight. Oh, two. Okay. I'm going to sell straight. Um, body wave. 
deep wave that's deep wave that's loose wave but i don't want to have to go through all of that and we have kinky here but guess what i'm not doing all of that right now so we're just going to use these three textures so we're going to come here we are not doing nothing with the prizes remember i told you guys the prize is according to the inches we determine the price by the inches so we are not going to use this general this this um price here we're going to go down here we're not going to use this inventory either right now so we're just going to leave this we're going to change these two ounces because that's what we use here and i always um it's always good you weigh your product to know what it weighs before you put it but you know what i'm gonna just put 100. for here it's always good to choose your country i am based in united states so i'm gonna put united states oh shoot united states so we're gonna pick united states this helps um custom this will help any international order you have so when you are fulfilling your order you can have your custom form um printed out while you're fulfilling it so we're gonna come down here and here we are gonna create our variants so we're gonna click on this so this is the part that a lot of people always get confused on so please pay attention because you want to make sure you get it right so now we have five we have three head textures so we have body wave we have straight we have deep wave well like i told you guys i have five textures but for this for the sake of this video we're doing three textures so here, here we're gonna type in texture and come here i put textures no texture and here i'm gonna type in straight and put a comma and put body wave and put a comma and I'm gonna type D wave and put a comma so we have for textures our texture we have straight I'm gonna put an S we have straight body wave and deep wave so here we're gonna add another option here so here we're not selling, we, we we don't need sizes, we need inches. So we're going to put in inches because for the nature of our business, we go by texture and inches. If you're selling clothing, it's going to be like um, sizes and color. But for the nature of our business, it's going to be texture and inches. So, so here we're going to do 10 inches, 12, 14. 16 i'm gonna just do 18 and 20. i know i know i said i'm just gonna do it to 16 inches but i'm gonna just leave it at that so um we should be good here and we are gonna scroll down you can see it here you have everything here this inventory we don't do nothing here you can click on this so that you don't track quantity because that is if you're drop shipping you can click not to track quantity but if you're not drop shipping you can just leave it that way i think you can so here we have straight um 10 12 14 16 18 20 body wave same 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 deep wave same 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 so this is a long process for me. <laughs> That's why I decided I'm just going to do three inches, three textures and few inches. I'm not going to do everything. So here, since you're drop shipping, I say put as much as you want so you don't run out of it. So let's assume we put 10 on each of them. Let's assume your, your prices start from $50. So let's say $50, 55 60 65 70 75 so here you come here do the same thing 
five. I know this is a slow process, but trust me, it's worth it because you don't have to pay nobody to help you do it. So I'd rather do this myself than to pay thousands of dollars. You you pay like some people charge you like twelve hundred to get your website up and ready. And not like they're gonna do it to your satisfaction. They just do it to an extent where they'll show you how to manage it. So here we'll put a quantity. So put as put as much as you want if you are drop shipping. So I'm just assuming we're drop shipping. So when your customer purchase anything the number will drop so it's better you put as much as you want so we are not gonna put anything for this queue i don't need that i'm not gonna worry about that so first of all we're gonna come here and save so you have to save in order for us to do this step so now we uh, we have successfully saved this bundle so you if you look at this here we don't have no pictures showing um at all so we will have to manually put in the pictures if you don't save before if you don't save you won't be able to put those pictures so you have to save first before you can put in the pictures so we're going to click on here and click on whatever picture is supposed to you're supposed to have for it so we are doing straight so we're gonna click on straight so that whenever a customer click on straight straight bundles is gonna appear so that's the purpose for that so we are gonna go up here whatever you want to display you can move this around so this is going to be the main piece when um when you have it on your page so that is going to be the one to display that is the one i want to display if you want body wave if you want straight it's up to you but it's not going to mess nothing up here nothing down here sorry so we're going to go ahead and save this here so I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go here and go back to products. So now I want to show you guys something. So for your bundle deals, we can add a product as well. So we're going to add a product here. That's what I've been waiting to show you guys. So we're going to come here and put bundle deals. Don't forget to put your description. And here we're just going to pick on the product. I'm gonna go to download. I'm gonna click on that. I don't know. So ignore your prices, ignore that one. Change this to ounces. I'm gonna just put 100. Make sure you know your weight. I just don't have time for that right now. So we're gonna click on this here. So Again, we're going to put textures and inches. So I want to show you guys something. So let's just put our textures. So put our textures that we're using for this video. Body wave. And uh, deep wave. So here inches. Remember, it's bundle. It's a bundle deal. If you're doing two bundle deals, or three bundle deals, or bundle and a frontal, this is the way you can do it. So let's assume you're doing bundle deals. Ten inches. You put a space. Another ten inches. You put a space and twelve. When you're done with that, you put a comma. That's how you can get your bundle deal. To look like this so we come back here we put a 12 you put a space 12 you put a space and 14 you put a comma that's how you can get your bottles and this doesn't mean you want to do bottles and a closure 10 10 12 and put closure or front so it depends on whatever you're doing so it's gonna go like that
So that's how you can get your bundle deals to come out the way we want it to look like. So we're just gonna do two, two bundle. Let me just make it three. 14, 14 and 16. What the heck? And 16. So this is good enough for me, otherwise I'll have to type a lot. And I don't wanna have to do that. So we're gonna put our quantity. So for this bundle deal, you want to put a lot if you're doing if you're drop shipping because this is a bundle, so it's not like uh, uh, singles. So if they're buying, they're buying three bundles. So you want to put as much as you can. That's your drop shipping. You can um, add more pictures of all your bundles. Like this is for. This is actually not a deep wave. This is actually kinky. You can add for for your straight, your deep wave, and your uh, and your body wave. But this is what I have, and that's what I'm gonna leave. So if you have it, you do the same way and make sure you have the pictures. But if you don't have it, this is what I'm gonna keep there. So guys, one thing I want to show you guys, so you don't do like me, is so when you're creating your products, let's click on one of them. Start with this one here. One thing you want to do is you want to fill up all of this here. Whatever you can fill up, fill it up. So product type, we are going to say um, this is bundles, bundle deals. We're going to say this is bundle deals. Add this to the product type. And here we're going to remember the collection we created. We're going to come here and remember the collections. So we have all of the collections here. So we're going to click on bundle deals because that was what we created. So your tags, you want customers to be able to find what they are looking for in your store. So if they type bundle deals on your search, they'll be able to, it's going to take them directly to this. So we're going to put bundle deals and put a comma and we're going to put bundles. We're going to put a comma. And we're going to put straight because those are the textures in case they put the type in straight. It's going to bring them here as well. We're going to type in deep wave. Put a comma. We are going to type what else? Body wave. We're going to put a comma. So in case they type 100% human. Here, which is all what we sell anyways but you know people can be you know trying to make sure that's what they're getting it's gonna bring them here as well so that looks good make sure you put as much tags as you can so and you can put in inches if you like whatever just put whatever you can put in whatever you can so we're gonna come here and save it so that's how you can um, that's what you, you you will do for all of them. I hope this was helpful. I will have to stop here. This video is really getting too long. And um, we are going to have a part two where we are going to talk about how we can design our theme on our homepage. And we are also going to set up our um, shipping I know that is a big deal for a lot of people. We are also going to set up our pages, our navigation as well. And also we're going to design our logo and create a website banner. So I have really good stuff coming for y'all. So don't miss out on that. So if you know this um, was a good video and it was helpful for you, please go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to share with somebody that you think will um, appreciate this video. And 
um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I hope to see you in my next video. Do not forget to hit on the bell button so that when I post my the part two, you will be notified on that so you don't miss out. So see you guys and bye.